Hi and welcome to another quick short video. This is going to be on quick text. Um, so let's make it quick. Let's say if you want to improve productivity, increase speed, um, you know, some things that your users are maybe doing, you know, frequently, constantly copying and pasting things over into maybe comments or even um, setting up anything from emails. This is where the quick text would go ahead and implement. Um, let's get started. So. If you go to your tabs, if we look for the quick text tab, if you don't see the actual quick text, this is a new org again. We'll go ahead and we'll basically look into it. Quick text settings, and we would go ahead and enable the quick text. Once we enable that, let's give it a refresh. It shouldn't take too long, but it should be working already. Um, and then let's go quick text again. And there we go. We are in our quick text tab. Uh, we can go ahead and create uh, new list views. We can select what we have here and um, we can go ahead and create a new quick text. You are populated with this uh, pop-up page. Um, some of the things, so obviously the name, we can call it email, quick text. Um, we'll use this probably later in our macros and on a different video. Uh, Message. So pretty much what you want the message to be. Let's assume we have um, you know, contacts or let's say we have leads coming in <clears throat> and uh, it's missing some sort of information. Maybe it was missing a phone number or uh, email address or something. Um, but it came through the site, you know, some things that we happen to miss for whatever reason. And we want to reach out to get that information. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then uh, we, we can go ahead and set this here. Obviously, there could be a lot more. A lot more things you can do with it. It's just a very generic example. What type of message? So let's assume leads. We'll click leads. Um, if they did provide their name, we can go ahead and we can set that up. I don't know why I said email. Probably email should be there if we're reaching them out through email. So let's say hi, um, insert the name, and then let's say please. Obviously, you want to make it something more, you know elaborate but uh, please uh, provide you know um, provide uh, phone number to call or more information sure why not uh, and then we can say regards and then uh, let's say we want to put our information we can say user um, first name and maybe we want to give email address or even uh, maybe phone number right we'll contact us with our phone number there you go uh, so you obviously you want to make it all look nice and stuff you know so it matches kind of your org uh, but I'm just doing it pretty quick uh, category where do you want to set it into if Q A and A, I mean FAQs or closings or greetings you can obviously create the category and then we'll, you'll be able to go ahead and select I mean we can go with no category doesn't matter for us um, where do we want to use it uh, we can use it in our emails like I said so we can we'll just leave it right now with our emails but you know we can use it in different areas as well um, this is where it's going to be visible for the quick text so I'll show you that later on so let's go ahead and save that looks fine to us. Uh, if you want to get a preview, how it's going to look, just click preview. Uh, just these are generic, so just pick anything. Um, right, and we can go preview, and we'll see it's basically gone and populated everything for us. I, whatever user, you know, and then uh, gives our username and everything in there. So once you have that set up, let's go into let's say our leads uh, anywhere basically where there is. An email aspect because we set it to email even if we go into accounts for whatever reason if we click on the accounts um, wherever we would see email we would be able to go ahead and actually use that quick text so let's say if we click right here this is under accounts the little uh, text you know button right here we click that we would see our quick text we can go ahead and boom populate it for us um, we can use it in all different areas as well uh, so this is in our leads same aspect it's under our email quick text and then we can go ahead and populate the whole thing uh, and obviously it's going to show us you know the exact information for that specific um, account as you can see here there's nothing really uh, so it hasn't really showed anything for the actual name so this is just for example purposes but uh, let's assume you want to do a logger call right um, 
if you have a comment section, we can click on the comment section, uh, quick text, but you see that it doesn't come up here. The reason it doesn't come up here is because uh, we did not actually set it up for uh, base, uh, phone pretty much. So we we'll go back, let's say we want to use the same quick text for phones as well, right? In that area, we can go ahead and we can bring that over to log a call, save. We go ahead, give it a nice little refresh there. And if we go back to our log a call, click on the comment, the little pop up again, and you'll see that it pops up right there. So we can go ahead and populate that as well. Uh, hopefully that helps you out, gives you pretty much a good idea how things are done. It's very simple, uh, but if you have any questions, feel free and reach out with uh, any comments below. Thanks.